Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Kimber Bell. My name is Laurie and today we're going to share with you and talk a little bit about our eyelets and how we cut those holes in the eyelets for the fairy lights as well as some differences in our two different kinds of fairy lights that we have. To start out with, I wanted to show you the Main Street Celebration CD. This is what you would look for when you go into your quilts, your local quilt shop, or if your local quilt shop isn't open and they're only serving you online, you would look for this CD right here. Now, right here next to me, I have the Main Street Celebration Bench Pillow, which is what we're gonna talk a little bit about today. Now, what I love about these um, are the little eyelets and the lights. The fairy lights just make the pillow wow. It's just that extra little wow factor. Now, a few years ago, we had a design that's called baskets and we still have this baskets design and we use the eyelets as well. So I want you to notice, I'm going to actually show you an eyelet that's a little bit easier to see because it's got this black so it's easier to see. That's the size of the eyelets that we have or use on our baskets. Now in, um, you could use a pair of our Kimberbell scissors. I love these Kimberbell tool scissors set. It's a great set and these are very nice sturdy scissors. Now you could use these to actually, you can fold this back and you can clip through all the layers um, with these sharp scissors and then you've got your hole and that's how you would make your hole. Another way that we have shown you before is a crocodile and you can use that. Now the only thing I would worry about or caution you on if you use the crocodile is the fact that you don't want to accidentally catch any of those satin stitches because if you do, it's going to come undone or frayed. Thus, we have fray check. That's another tip that I would always highly recommend is using fray check or fray check. And the reason I would use the fray check, it would keep it from ever fraying, especially if you're um, pushing these beautiful, cute fairy lights uh, in, in the hole. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to share with you is the size of the eyelet on the uh, Main Street Celebration. These little eyelets, they're in blue so that it's, you know, they're really well hidden, but yet they are stabilizing all of the fabric around so you're not just poking random holes in your fabric. You're actually going through the eyelet itself, the eyelet hole. Now, the way that I do that for these smaller ones, and once again, I love these Kimberbell tools. This is the tweezer set, and these tweezers are fabulous. Now, the way I'm going to use the tweezer, I want you to be careful with I don't want you to damage the end of your tweezers. That's why I'm doing it on an actual really good cutting mat that's the self-healing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tweezer and I'm actually gonna place it right in the middle of the eyelet hole that's been stitched out and I simply put it down and then I just pull up on the fabric and it comes right up because these are really great. These are super sharp. Uh, I'm gonna show you one more time. Place it right in the middle and you simply just pull up on your fabric. Now I'm going to show you from the back side, if you can see that, that's the hole that it made. That's a perfect size hole for those fairy lights and they'll stay in place. Super simple, really easy to do. And I also have with me, this is, if you guys recognize this, give me a thumbs up. It is from our Twilight Boulevard bench pillow. And this is one of the squares that I've made. You can see how far I've gotten. This is my second pillow though, so. Um, but same exact uh, thing. You're gonna want to take your, um, your Kimber Bell tweezers and you just simply, it's just, these just work so quick and so fast. Look how easy that is to make that hole and you don't damage any of your, uh, satin stitching around that eyelet. Now, if you remember right, with the, the Boulevard, the Twilight Boulevard bench pillow, we had white fairy lights. And I love these. You guys, this is great because this comes with a three pack in the fairy lights. And you can pull these out. Is it two? Two, sorry. Set it two and you pull these out and you can use them on either end of the pillow. Well, guess what, folks? When you go to use the Main Street Celebration Fairy Lights that comes in the embellishment kit. So in your embellishment kit, if you can see right here are the fairy lights. Now they're a little bit longer strand, but guess what? They're colored. They come in red, white, and blue. So depending on which set you really want to use for your bench pillow, 
you can, and it's um, noted right here. You can see this little color wheel. The color wheel is what shows you that it's a color set versus just your white fairy lights, okay? That, that way you can tell the difference. Now, I love this because it's in the embellishment kit. So I really highly recommend that you get your embellishment kit so that you can get those lights as well as these flags. Oh, you guys, this is amazing. We not only have the United States flag, we have a Canada flag, but we also have a Great Britain flag. Uh, I believe this one is Australia. And this other one is the Netherlands. I, and I love this. So there's so many options to making your Main Street Celebration pillow. It doesn't have to just be um, for uh, somebody that lives in the United States. You can make it for anybody that lives in any one of these countries. I just love that about this. Now, what I wanted to do, and I'm going to see if I can do this. I'm going to take this a little bit apart because I love these embellishment kits. They come with everything. I mean, everything you need to complete your pillow. And now all of these cute buttons. I love that. And your flags, all the inside parts that you're going to need, um, permanent uh, topping, as well as your flexible foam. All right, I wanted to get to these fairy lights because I'm going to open them. Of course, I'm going to use my scissors here to start that. I'm going to open these up, this um, fairy lights, because I wanted to show you what they look like. They're, they're really, really cool. So as I'm opening these up, I wonder... I'm going to turn them on, and if you can't see them, let me know, and we're going to shut the lights down a little bit so you can actually see them. So here is, see that they're flashing, and they're red, white, and blue. Can you see those different colors? I wonder if I need to undo this a little bit more. You can see the red, white, and blue flashing. Now, if you push the button again, all right, they, yay, they're going to turn the lights down a little bit more so you can see that. Can you guys see that? Isn't that cool? Now they're splashing slower or on all the time. And as you can see, those are really pretty. They're uh, red, white, and blue. Now I wanted to show you in contrast with our white fairy lights, they're just all white. So depending on which one you've used before or which one you like, you can use those. But I just love these. I think that they're so fun. I just, I can't get over the red, white, and blue. When I saw them turned on on the pillow, I was like, oh, you're kidding. It's just, it really just finishes that pillow off. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.